Howdy everyone, Patrick here. Uh, so this video is essentially just talking about what happened to my Kylo Ren lightsaber and how I got, I don't want to say scammed, I don't think that was his initial intent, but essentially it's now stolen, um, and essentially just how I feel about it. Um, so what originally happened was I posted it for sale. Um, and in the time that it was up and posted, uh, this other person who I'm not going to say his name, uh, in the video, I'll put it in the description below. Um, cause this isn't a, like a video to you know, ruin him or anything. And I'll explain that later. Um, he posted something also for sale and I messaged, I messaged him saying, Hey, you know, I've got this item. Would you be willing to trade it? And so we agreed to a trade. We were supposed to each send out um, our respective items or lightsabers to the other and uh, send each other tracking numbers. Of course, I sent mine out, messaged a tracking number, didn't get a reply that day, messaged the next day. Um, and I had to like hound him and I, he was reading the messages and then ignoring them. And I finally messaged saying, hey, if you don't respond, I'm going to stop the package. And so he finally responded and he was like, oh, I'm heading to the post office now. And I was like, dude, you were supposed to do that yesterday. And he was like, oh, I don't like your attitude, yada, yada, yada. Well, unfortunately, uh, my proactiveness in shipping, I didn't next day it, but he lives not that far away, uh, even in the same state as me. And he had already received it, nothing I could do about it. And then of course his true color showed and he just was an asshole. And essentially just saying, you know, I don't have to send it back now. I'm in control, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but his behavior makes sense later on when I kind of looked into who he was. Uh, well, more in-depth, I should say. Um, so what I essentially did was I just screenshotted all of our things. Um, and I posted them to every lightsaber community group on Facebook I absolutely could. Um, and I just screenshotted the thing and wrote out what happened and everybody in the community jumped on board not jumped on board but and i don't want to say side but they did jump on my side and were like dude what the hell you know just return his saber yada 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 and so then the guy eventually said like oh i'll return your saber back yada yada, yada. so a week later he still hadn't sent it back and it was just like okay so I continued to post about the situation and, and tell people an update because he would message and he would you know, name call and belittle and try and act all hard behind a keyboard and, you know, essentially saying things like, oh, I know where you, I know your address. I can just come steal all your sabers. And I'm kind of like, have you seen my YouTube channel? Like it's geeks and guns. So please, you know, well, go away with that. Um, and you know, I'm just not going to stoop down to his level of knowing his address, which I do and, you know, oh, and threatening him with anything because it's just, it's stupid. Um, but he insinuated like, oh, I know your address. You should be afraid of me. Now, when I say he, he did this, he did it in, in a secret messenger in, on Facebook, which like, okay, dude, you're afraid that I'm going to screenshot your, your messages again. So you're showing again, your true colors. And, uh, <laughs> he straight up said, uh, I should be afraid of him because he is a true Sith. Um, I'm a huge star Wars fan. I've got six tattoos, four of them directly star Wars related. I know it's not real. Okay. But he like full on was like, I'm a true Sith. You should be afraid of me. Yada, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so due to me posting to all the groups and everything, uh, he got banned from most of them. And not only did he get banned, the best part was, uh, like the admins kicked him off. The, there's one group on Facebook, as of now, he's still not kicked off. It's The group is called Lightsaber Market. Um, he's still, as far as I'm aware at this time, in that group. Admins have not done anything to him, and I don't really care, because the community itself, the people inside the community, 
he try he keeps he actually tr- has tried posting my Kylo Ren lightsaber for sale on this same group talking about how he has now stolen that lightsaber essentially um and people just get on there and put him on blast and he's got no response for him he all he can do is show his true immature colors and name call and threaten and you know try and act like he's a big bad wolf behind a keyboard um and then he and then he quickly deletes the comments, deletes the post, and, you know, he'll try and repost the, the same thing a, a day later, and then someone else will jump on him. And and that's what I'm, I'm loving from, about all this, is all the people... We've had a, a, a couple other people have come forward on my post and said, hey, yeah, I, something fell off about the guy, and when I questioned him about it, he was like... He, he suddenly turned into this, like, well, F you, man, I don't need to do, you know, yada, yada. So it's like, you're showing your true colors, and, you know, you're, you're going to get what you're going to get. Now, that has, has, has turned this situation from a gut-wrenching situation to, like, a, 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 I don't want to say good situation, but, like, okay, I like that. Because uh, the, the, his actions and his behavior and his, his view on things has turned around and allowed the entire community to see him for him. And, uh, it, it, it's just nice to see people in the lightsaber community, uh, you know, taking the time to go to his post and comment on his stuff, looking him up and saying, dude, you know, you, you, you're, you're stolen a guy like guy's lightsaber. You are a POS. Uh, you just need to go away. You just need to return this guy's saber, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, yeah, I don't plan on ever getting my lightsaber back, but it, it, it makes me feel good to to know that you know this thing happened but people inside the community are not okay obviously they wouldn't be but you know they are proactive about dealing with these scumbags uh speaking of scumbags funny little factoid here the kylo ren lightsaber that he stole is a black series kylo ren that was converted by jordan maul whose last name is now a a uh, uh, an adjective or a verk, you know, uh, in the lightsaber community. When someone gets scammed, when someone gets like scumbag, a lot of times it's, it, you know, it, it can be called you got mauled because Jordan Maul turned into one of the biggest, I mean, he owes people hundred six digits of, of amounts of money, not individual people, but like total six digits amount. And so I was one of the lucky people that actually managed to get my lightsaber back after and getting the job done by Jordan Maul. So it's kind of like, you know, squeaked out of that one just to lose the saber a couple years later. And that also goes on to why I'm not super freaking out. Um, but essentially, uh, what's happening now is nothing. I, I blocked the guy on Facebook. Uh, I already know he's been banned by every lightsaber group except for lightsaber market. Um, and to, like I said, the reaction from the community and the, the, actions by the admins of those other groups and just the fact that he's been revealed uh you know i i'm not gonna waste my money trying to go to district court for a lightsaber that i was trying to get rid of anyways i didn't i no longer wanted it in my collection um i had no sentimental value connected to that lightsaber um it's not even for a character i like anymore and no longer like kylo ren he was acceptable in seven and in eight, and I won't blame Kylo Ren. Part of it's the uh, Mare Sue uh, that you know kind of ruined his character as well. Um, but so that's what's happening now is nothing. This this video is actually I'm posting this now because it's like I'm not going to take any legal action against the guy because, uh, and the reason I'm not going to take legal action is because of who this guy is. Uh, like I said, his name will be in the description down below. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to try and even pronounce it because you know, whatever. It's not a crazy name, um, but I just don't care to actually say it. Uh, but the guy is a part-time dad who he thinks that it's his... And I know this, by the way, because he, he... If you go to his Facebook page, he whines about it on Facebook. He, he, he puts all this stuff in his status and he whines about it. And his own father 
goes on to his statuses and comments about how it's his own fault, how he needs to... But anyways, so the guy blames his ex for not letting him see his kids, and those that's the status that his dad is like, you need to make changes. And it's like, you're blaming your ex when even your own fucking father is saying, no, dude, it's you, right? And then he posts another... He had another post that was like, he, he, okay, so this guy, he, he can't go get a job because then the government will cut off his assistance. So it's like, okay, yeah, so you are a jobless, part-time father who is a, a thief and a, a maybe even a scammer, and uh, you think people should be afraid of you because you're a true Sith. Okay, life has already kicked you in the ass. I don't need to do it any further. I've done my, I feel like, you know, the situation that has evolved from, from the initial incident is, uh, reward enough for me. You, he's been, you know, not fully blacklisted, but he's got a real, you know, bad mark next to his name in the lightsaber community. And I love it. I'm so happy to see that because scum like that deserve to be treated like scum. Karma's a B. And so... I, I love it. I, this guy's a, a POS, and it, honestly, the way I'm looking at this situation is uh, I, I feel such content with it because I look at the situation this guy's in. Like I said, part-time dad who uh, has no job, whines about everything publicly on Facebook, um, and you know he, he has to steal other people's belongings to feel empowered. Uh, Dude, it's a lightsaber. I don't care. Keep it. It's, to me, I, it makes me look at my own life, and it looks like my it makes me look at my job, full time job, uh, where I'm a supervisor and I love my job, pays my bills, uh, you know, puts a roof over my wife and my child, which I get to see every day. I get to wake up and kiss and say good morning to and say I love you. And I get to hear uh, her say it back to me. He doesn't have fun with that, sir. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I feel good about everything because it's, I, my life is good enough that I don't feel the need to try and steal other people's things and feel good about it. And, uh, his life is so shitty that he does. So, ah, uh, I don't know what else to really say. Like I said, I feel good. This isn't a fake smile. This is a genuine, like, you know, this guy's a POS. Let him have it. It is what it is at this point. Uh, but I figured I would, I did post a video of the detailed, you know, Kylo Ren lightsaber. Not a whole bunch of people viewed it, understandably. Um, and I deleted it because, of course, I don't want the saber anymore, so I'm not trying to sell it. Uh, but I figured I'd post, I'd make this video, and then I'm also gonna post this to all the Facebook posts, just so, uh, everyone can, uh, enjoy and wrap this story up in a nice little bow. Hope y'all have a good one.